This will be another test of the new eight capacitor model featuring something like four times the power of the previous version. Let's see if we get ignition. Oh, we have power. We have smoke. The uh, charging resistor is smoking rather badly. We're climbing to it's about 400, 500. We're going to test fire at about 600. The resistor's red hot back there. We are red hot. Okay, we're test firing at 600 volts. Ready on the right, ready on the left. It's a good test fire. Pretty good altitude. Let's try that again. Okay, we're now ready for the second test firing of the new eight capacitor device. And we have troubles with the cooling fan not starting because the load is so great. And the current limiting resistor uh, glowing red hot as we dump one kV into that resistor. Okay, we're now at 600 volts. Shall we go for 700? We're slowly climbing away. Almost to 700 volts. Fan started up finally. The load is down on the transformer. Just humming away. 700 volts. Shall we go for 800 volts? It's going to take a long time to get those capacitors up to 800 volts. Fan is running good though. Not like it can cool that resistor. Okay, we're almost to 800 volts. Ready for test firing number two. We're not even making it to 800 volts. I think we're gonna perhaps pause a little short of 800 volts. Current meter doesn't work yet. Okay. 800 volts. Here we go. Ready? That was some whopping high heights. Anyways, that's awesome. Okay, we're on round number three. Let's watch that resistor glow red hot again. Actually, it's not turning quite as red this time. Yep, there it is, it's turning red. Let's zoom in on the red hot resistor. You see, 1,000 ohms at 1,000 volts will limit the charging current to one amp, which would be, uh, how many volts? Eek! Watts, that'd be a thousand watts. A thousand volts at one amp, hey, one thousand watts. But the capacitors are getting much better at charging up. They came right up to 800 volts for test firing number three. Ready, here we go. I mean, we're getting a uh, good 30 feet at least uh, lift. Capacitors are getting more used to it. And here we go, test launch. Number four. Charging up again on the red hot resistor. It's starting to rain. We have a storm coming in. Resistor's getting all deformed and bubbled and you name it. It is definitely cooked. Let me see if there's a way I can get some range on this so I can uh, show you approximately how high that thing's going. It's going at least 30 feet. She charges right to 800 volts, but then she holds there. And I'm afraid capacitors don't like to go above 800 volts. There's the SCR close-up. Anyways, in a second we'll launch. Okay, we're getting back a distance so we can see how high this thing goes. You can see it going through there. You really can't see how high it shoots. 
And we're back charging up once again on that red hot resistor. It's all bubbled and boiled and cooked. Yipper, it's toast. Fan's working every time now. Capacitors seem to have like a memory. They like to come up to about 800 volts and stop, which actually is their official rating. But their peak is supposed to be 900. And it takes a long time to get a much past 800. Okay, ready for her next test firing. Oh, gotta turn the thing off first. definitely taller than that tree there, you know. But it's the end of my battery on my camera and it's getting really dark and it's going to rain shortly. So this concludes this test of the 1KV washer launcher.